Hi everyone, Rob here again from the Department of Education at Cape Breton University. And in this video, what I'm going to show you is how to take a self-evaluation rubric or any form that you have created for your students using Google Forms and embed it right into a content page in Moodle. So I have this form here ready to go. I need to get some custom HTML code so that I can embed this. What I need to do is click on the send button over here. And instead of clicking on the link, I click on these double arrows. This is HTML. I take my code here. I just copy it. I like to actually place it, uh, place it onto a little notepad so that I don't lose that code if I end, end up copying anything else in between. I'm going to come back to my course. I need to turn my editing on to add a page. In this case, I'm just going to add this page right below my assignments here. So I will click on add and I will click on page. And I will embed my self evaluation form here. I can skip the description at this point. What I want to do is embed that form onto my content on my page. So I am going to put a little placeholder here, the word here. Make sure that I have clicked on this button to show all of my toolbars. And I click on that same icon, the Edit HTML Source. I'm going to go grab my code here. And in HTML view, I simply overwrite the word here with that code. The reason I use a placeholder like the word here is because I may have a lot of other content on the page already, and I may want to put this into the middle of the page. When I switch to HTML view, it's very easy for me to find that little word here that's all in caps and then overwrite it. A couple of things that I like to tweak in here. One is the width. Right now it's set to 640 pixels wide. I'm going to change that to 100%. That way, no matter how big or small your student's screen is, the form is going to expand or contract and uh, to just the exact size of their screen. I can also change the height. I think 1200 pixels high is a little bit high. I'm going to change that to 800. You can leave that alone if you want. It's mainly the width that we are worried about so that your students don't need to scroll left or right on the screen, just up and down. And I will hit update. It has now added my form here onto my page. I will configure anything else that I want to about this. So in this case, I'm going to leave this as students can manually mark as completed. That way they'll know that they've come in and filled out this form for me. And I simply hit save and display or save and return to course. So I will hit return to course, turn off my editing. And now I have my self evaluation form with a checkbox. As a student, I can click on this, it's going to open up the form right here in Moodle for me. So I can add in my scores in this, hit submit, I get my little message saying it's done. As a student, I can come back in here to the course and click check off. Now that I have that finished, and that is all there is to embedding a Google form into your Moodle course.